All right, PRV A1 Base Pro. This is the one inversion. Let's try 0.8 dynamic at 40 hertz. Don't try this at home, my friends. My name is Derek and I do YouTube videos about audio equipment. If you guys enjoy that type of stuff, you might enjoy subscribing to my channel and I'd appreciate it. Today we're gonna look at a Brazilian amplifier from PRV Audio, the A1 Bass Pro. Let's unbox it here and take a closer look. Get you a nice sticker, manual, and yes, internet sales policy. We will not honor warranty on anything bought on the internet. That kind of stinks because I can't leave any affiliate links, but Anyway, here's the base knob. It is a plastic base knob. Just has an LED light there for power. And it has the telephone style connector on the back. Let's pull the amplifier out of the box and we'll get a closer look at what's going on with it. Before we do that, let's take a look at the ratings at two ohms. It's rated 1020, 1380 at one ohm. That's 12.6 at 14.4, 1300 at two ohms and 1800 at one ohm here's the size of the amp as you can tell it's a pretty big amplifier to be a brazilian amp dimensions are 18 and a half inches long by nine inches wide also have the metric equivalents there for people outside the u.s and the thickness is about average 2.15 inches or about 55 millimeters here we'll show the connections on the amplifier you can see protect light power light remote for base knob we have inputs and outputs those are tiffany style rcas it is linkable. We have the gain knob, low pass filter, subsonic filter, bass boost frequency, and bass boost level. On the opposite side, we have two different speaker outputs for positive and negative. Then we have plus 12 volt, remote, and ground. Those are one alt ground and positive inputs. Amplifier has an MSRP of $349 US. However, on the PRV Audio site, you can pick it up for $279.99. I guess you do get a warranty when you buy it from the PRV store. Just don't buy it from anywhere else and you won't get a warranty. The amplifier has the angled style terminal blocks, which are a bit of a pain, especially for the dual one alt inputs. You can see we have them wired up here with dual one alts. And here we'll fire up the amp. See the protect light comes on first, then the power light. Let's try it out first at 4 ohms. Certified up to 1% THD. We're not rated at 4 ohms, so we don't know what we should expect. We got 707 watts and 80% efficient. That's about what the manual says it does, 80% efficiency. Here's the dynamic run at four ohms. Again, there's no rating in the manual, so anything over 700 watts, which is what we got for certified, is gonna be good. So we end up with 772 watts, very nice. Now let's go two ohm certified 1% THD. In this case, it's rated 1300 watts at 14.4. A little bit shy, 1,248 watts at 14.56, but check out that efficiency, 84.7%. Very good efficiency. Dynamic burst at 2 ohms. We easily got that 1,300 watts, as you can see. Quite a bit more, 1,447 watts at, no, 1,455 at 14.62. Now to the 1 ohm, 40 hertz run. Certified, rate 1800 watts, we got 1907, 14.48. Now the efficiency, we're gonna estimate around 76% because we got right between 151 and 204 amps on the draw, it was just too close to tell the difference. So very good there. Dynamic run, one ohm. Again, plenty of reserve power in this amplifier. Well over 2000 watts, almost 3000, 2720 at 14.54 volts, very nice. Now onto the results of the PRV A1 Base Pro. You saw most of the runs here. Again, at two ohms, we didn't quite re reach the 14.4 of 1300 watts rating, but at one ohm, we easily met the 1800 watt rating, got 1907 and everything else quite a bit more. So very good job overall, PRV. Now. Now you guys always want to see what's inside. Before we get there, let's talk about 12 volt talk. Check out the podcast with me and Hi-Fi Vega. We have it every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, where you can check out our podcast on your favorite podcatcher. Join us. We have a good time.
Now let's take the bottom off the amplifier using a trusty 20 volt Porter cable drill. Check the video description if you'd like to pick one of these up for yourself. And there you have it. Class D goodness. 3300 microfarad 1000 volt rail caps. There's eight of them. Then you can see the 35 volt 3300 microfarad caps there for the filtering. You can see the pulse width modulated supply there. See some good internal wiring there, but jumping between the power right there by the transformer. Also for the speaker side as well. Some of you may be thinking, this thing looks familiar. Well, yeah, here's why. Car Audio Bargain Cab 1600.1 that we tested a few years ago. Virtually identical to this amp, which is a good thing. Had a lot of people ask me about that Cab 1600. Everybody who bought it seems to love it. So if you want a 2019 version, get you one of these A1 Base Pros. This is essentially the same amp. It looks really nice too. Performs well. You see my big old fat hand in the way. But the, <laughs> the funny thing about it is this is a Brazilian amp. Korean design, made in China. Let that sink through your head. You big dummy. Brazilian amp, made in China, Korean design. Yeah, that's how we roll here. Thanks as always for watching my videos, commenting, liking. Thanks to patreon.com slash oldschoolstereo. And a special thanks, J. Matthew Marcus, Jesus Tires, Soundstream Registry. I'm out of here. <laughs>